Hey everyone, in today's video I want to show you some of the things that I do the first time I load up a new copy of SQL Developer. And it's mostly about preferences. So as you are looking at code, you probably want to come into your code editor preferences and change the font to something more pleasing to the eye. Probably something a fixed field if you're doing a lot of uh, script formatting because the font that you pick here for the code editor also applies to your output. So if I run this, it's the same font on the top as it is the bottom. And I usually don't run with these little things, but I do run with uh, line numbers. So you can right click here and say toggle line numbers. I always turn that on. And back to the preferences for code editor in display. Show white space characters. So that's one thing I always do. The next thing I always do is I come into the preferences and I tell it which nodes I want to be active when I'm browsing a database. So tools, database, navigation filter. Say enable filtering. And then come in here and check the things you want to see and the things you don't want to see. So we offer that for Oracle and also for times 10 connections. The other thing I do is I enable what we what I call our little zebra um, effect in the grids. So that's tools, preferences, uh, database, worksheets. Grid and checkerboard or zebra format. And while we're in here, something I do a lot is I enabled this one too. Show query results in new tabs. So I have a query result here. I'm going to run this again. It writes to a new tab. So basically what it's effectively doing is with that option on, it auto-pins your results so you don't lose stuff. The other thing I always turn off is opening objects on a single click. So as you're clicking around in the tree on things, maybe you want to drag an object into the worksheet. If you have open object on single click on, it'll open it, which I don't want that to happen. I only want it to open when I tell it to open with a double click. And that's about it. Um, once you've been using the tool for a while, you'll want to organize your connections. So I always do this too. Uh, right click on connections and add to a folder. And that's it. So I try to aim this for under five minutes and we're at about four minutes.